my stepmom, she tried to break me. And I have to admit, I was very, very scared of her. She, meant, she was very, very mentally abusive. She was an alcoholic. And she was, a, she was a crack addict. And she was in my household every day, talking crazy to me. Wasn't anything physical, thank God, but it was very mental. And she was like a drunk. When she got drunk, she'd just stand there and she might just pee on the floor and just tell us, play it up! I'm like, man, who, who, how am I supposed to grow from that? So I broke down because I felt I couldn't catch a break. Another tale of a lost soul. Study said that I wouldn't live to be old. Look at me. Look at you. Where I come from, most people don't make it to be 30. Most of the guys don't. We overcomers in this room. Everybody that's in this room is an overcomer. You done been through something in your life. I remember being in the fifth grade, running through the parking lot, three bullies chasing me. <gasps> they can't catch me. I can't let them catch me. I can't let them catch me. Caught me. Picked me up. Boom! Body slam. Punch me in the stomach. Punch me in the stomach. Drug me to a swimming pool. Throw me in the water and hold me on. I'm fighting. I'm fighting. I'm little though. I'm fighting. I'm fighting. I just knew I was about to die. They just hold me and just hold me. Just hold me. I'm like, stop. Let me go. Let me go. Last second, they pulled me up. <gasps> I catch my breath. <sighs> they hop out the pool, took off laughing and running. I'm standing there just defeated. Or so I thought I was defeated. But I didn't realize that I had so much resiliency inside of me. I didn't get out the pool then. I just set up. I got on the side of the pool and just sat there and just thought, Lord, please give me the strength to find a way to overcome these bullies. Give me a strength to make them respect me. Give me a sign. Give me something to let me know that I'm not out here by myself. So you guys are going to deal with the bullies of life. When you're trying to go to that next level, when you have that great plan, that great idea that hits you about two in the morning, and you're like, oh, this is it. You try to get that loan or whatever it is you need, you get boom, denied. Try to get another loan, boom, denied. But instead of quitting, when you got that resiliency, you ask the banker, okay, what is it that's making you deny this? You figure it out, and then you clean that mess up, and then you clean up the next mess, and before you know it, you've been approved. You never let the bullies of life stop you. They used to bully me. But then I finally struck gold. One, two, and you don't stop. I fell in love when I got introduced to hip hop. My new release. We all need a good release. See, when I put my pen to pad, it gave me total inner peace. I don't care how much success you're achieving in your life. We all go through something. Each and every one of our lives comes with its own set of built-in problems. You're going to get these no matter what. And then it's not to talk about the ones that we, we do to ourselves by doing the silly stuff that we can do on a daily basis. But the way to overcome that is have positive releases. For me, it was hip-hop. For you, it might be writing. For you, it might be driving. For you, it might be singing. Whatever it is, you have to have a positive release because when you don't have a positive release, that's when you turn to drugs. That's when you turn to alcohol. That's when you turn to abusing other people. So I don't care how much money you got. If you're not mentally stable, if you can't overcome the things that you're dealing with on a daily basis, the demons that are trying to attack you, then you're losing. And we're here to make every day a Wednesday. So I fell in love when I got introduced to hip hop, my new release. We all need a good release. When I put my pen to pad, it gave me total inner peace. So let me introduce the new me to me. Confidence erupted. I was truly Thankful, blessed, no longer just a guest in my own mind. My friends dig deep and you will find that greatness lives in you, so go retrieve it in your mind.